It's finals day at the Surf Ranch Pro presented by 805 Beer. And what a quarterfinal class we have on hand here. Former champion Gabriel Medina in the water and he's up and riding on his first right hander. Great start here for Medina. Up into the lip line. A lot of aggressiveness right there from Gabe. In the barrel. Deep, steep. And it seems like he's going to come out with these. Great technique there. Once again up into the lip line. A lot of style and precision in this wave so far. And looks to go for the variation here in the middle part of the performance zone of this wave on the right hander. Goes down with the attempt of the reverse. So we'll give the upper hand to Ethan Ewing on the right hand at the moment. Three for four at the surf wrench though, Pete. He realized that he knew that he needed to start getting loose at the. I mean, we've seen it already. The the numbers that uh, fetched, you know, the nines were, you know, yeah. some of the style of surfing we hadn't seen all of it long. Mm -hmm. So him doing this turn in this uh, kind of portion of the wave is high risk, and uh, unfortunately, with high risk, you end up uh, falling down sometimes. Medina, up and riding on this left. Big moment for Gabe. And the surfer from Marecias in Sao Paulo, the Brazilian three-time world champ, former world junior champion, looking to once again claim the highest stake here at the surf ranch. Good start for him, pacing himself. Great layback there for Medina. Goes for the reverse. He's going to pull it with these. Comes around the section once again, just resetting the feet. Another throw tail reverse. Great variation by Medina. A difficult wave to surf here. And he is just blitzing down the line. And you know that he's going for the corrupt flip. There he goes, sticks with the alley-oop and a pull it. He's like, <laughs> what else do I need to do, guys? Just give me a nine already. Uh, that's funny. I, you know, it's funny when sometimes he does that shrug claim. The bounce back right here. Look at that layback snap and hooking it. And then straight into that and comes out with speed. See the footwork there. He had to shuffle back. Because you rotate, you put everything up into the front of the board. It does it again. So uh, how many turns? You know, and he still looks like he's just cruising and has fit it in so easily. Here he skips the barrel, and we have seen the corrupt flip. Didn't get the grab there, and somehow <laughs> figured it out. Just actually pulled his hands tight and uh, spun super quick. Watch this. I mean, he's gonna looks like he's going to go for the grab. Did not, we've seen it and just realized wow. didn't get quite the pop, but somehow stays on it and just lands easy as. His back foot came off too right there, Pete. And yeah. One of the biggest gaps, actually. Absolutely so right. the winds are everything if you want to keep make sure that you're going to be in the final five. Here goes Ethan Ewing. First wave for him on the right. We know what he's capable of on this one. The best style on tour out of the gentleman. Great drone angle here. A lot of spray on those first three attacks. Mm. How's that layback? Straight into the barrel. Ewing, deep positioning on the forehand. Is he going to come out? He's still in there. <laughs> He's still in there, and he comes out. Easy stop there for Ethan Ewing. Oh, my. Laying it on rail. Yeah, that he is just as good as it gets here on the strike, Pete. was awesome. That outside work was awesome. And now if he can just finish it up here with something big. Wow. My, oh, my, the variation on this. Oh, oh, no. Just like that, flash of a second, it's over. But Ewing has one more chance on the left after the break. Puts a number up here. I mean, you think about the scores that have already been posted by Gabe. This is where he needs to at least post something close to that excellent number. So very important to stay in pace here in this quarterfinal. He's up and riding on the left now. Has a lot of power on the backhand as well. Good spray. Good variation to start off. Much better right there from Ewing. He'll float it into the lamp. Drifts the fins. That was sick. Up and over the white water. Once again, great pace to this wave. Great flow. Once again, throws a tail around. Excellent variation on this wave so far on the back end. It's really difficult to be not repetitive on the left speed when you're going as a regular footer. And he's been doing excellent so far. Great positioning for the barrel. He'll come out and throw the tail once more. So double E, Ethan Ewing looking to move up into the semifinals. Let's see where this score comes through, Pete. Yeah, point of difference. I mean, you think about what Leo Firavanti 
uh, the speed hitched whatsoever, just so much glide. And you're talking about variation on the backhand. He was able to do that. You know, the backhanders have a little tougher time probably on this left to you know, set apart a point yeah. of difference. But his flow was definitely a point of difference. Again, look at that style pulling through the inside there. Get that hand on the rail, the knee to the deck, the arm on the wall. And then there, just punches the fins, little drift. Doesn't go all the way around, just a little revert. Again, that, that little extra spice, little progression at the end of the wave. Medina waiting for his second right. Pete, I'm excited. This is a huge moment in this heat. He's looking to better just a mid four at the moment. Crucial start right there. Great snap in the pocket. A lot of spray. And he's going to set up for the initial barrel section on the outside. The performance zone starts right here, and he's in the pit. Deep. Still in there. And he's going to come out. Down carb to start things off after the barrel. Once again up into the lip right there. That's better. Looking for the variation, though. That's where he fell off the last time. Wow, that was impressive from Magina. Once again, a lot of spray. How's that stall for the barrel on the end section? And he's coming out with ease. Throw to reverse to finish. And wow, he is hotter than a blowtorch right now. Looking at better, just a 4.67. Wow, he did that. As we watch the replay here from the drone angle, looking down the basin. And uh, he was one of those backsiders that could just understand the speed control needed for the length of the barrel and the depth of the barrel out here. He had those, that mistake on his earlier right, mm -hmm. right in this zone, but not this time. Throwing that little extended arc, throwing spray way out the back, the kick stall bottom turn. Again, depth is there, and then of course he's gonna make the finish, right? The tail whip, reverse, glides out of it, no worries. Look at this technique. Look at the score. You said it. Excellent surfing, Peter. Eight points. Well, there you go. So now look at the number. It's uh, out of reach. Unless uh, he improves on both waves. Both waves. Wow. Najina just going to town. There's a reason why he's feared out here. People see him come up in the draw, and they're like, OK. He's put up some huge numbers. In 2021, what he did at the Rip Girl WSL Finals to win the World Championship, his third one, ludicrous. And now he's up on his second left here in the quarters against Ethan Ewing. Wow, what a start here from Magina. Floater there. Around the section, lays it back. Drop while it carve. Up and over again. Looking for the variation. Just tap that section. He'll drop it down. It seems like the second third of this wave, he's been a lot more cruisy, Peter. I think he's setting up the inside. <laughs> Making sure he's going to get there and do something massive. Here it is. Here's the barrel section. What does he have for us here? Goes for the corrupt oh, lip. Nearly man. pulls it. How much amplitude did he have there? That was big. That one traveled across towards the fence. He's put on the show for the surfers. 8.67 when he's looking to better. And check this out. Gets the grab. That's the corrupt flip. Reverse angle grab and it helps with the rotation. Keeps the board planted to the feet. And you release as you land into the transition. Again, slow-mo gets the grab, then the spin. And as he's spinning, he releases, lands, and the nose pokes just a little too much. Well, he's still in the lead, though. And with the attempt of the corrupt lip, he's going to keep his 8.67 on the left. Has two more rides to go. But it's imperative for, do, for him to do well here on the right hand, Pete. Yep, this is it. That's why that <laughs> pressure is so applied each and every wave. So needs the better both scores. Up and riding now. We saw what he's capable of in the qualifying round. Won his heat, moves straight up into the quarterfinals. That's a great start for Ewing. Deep barrel, great positioning here from the surfer from the Gold Coast. Nice. And wow, he just capitalized on the tube time on the outside. That's great stuff from Ewing. Really utilizing those rails as well as he can here at the surf ranch. Throws the tail around, pulls it too. Ewing on the way to the best score of the heat for him so far. Once again, stalls for the barrel. 
Wow, and this wave so far, Pete. He needs yes. the bullet set, he does! Oh, he's keeping it interesting. Wow! He's out of combo Woo. now, that's for sure. Bang, bang. For his first right, but it was still awesome, especially this part of the wave where he got the reverse after the big redirect. Anytime you get that nose pointed back towards the opposite wall, it's huge. And then again, going in here, we haven't seen a lot of this inside, this air moves by him, but he waited till finals day to bring it for us, and uh, with that, he's going to get his best number. How's the nose pick reverse right here? And it's nice, no grab. You know, oh. it's a little more extended, and look, he just rides the nose rail all the way around and pulls it off clean. Look where his foot is, all the way up to the very last foot of the nose. But here goes Double E. He's up and riding. Let's see what it can do. A lot of pressure on his shoulders. Decent start here for Ewing. That's more like it from Ethan. Into the lip a few times in a row. Great flow. Awesome projection down the line. Needs to go big right there. He does. Throws the tail, slides the fins. How about the backup turn right there afterwards? Once again, just pacing himself through this midsection. It's going to be the big finish that really counts for Ewing on this one. Going to stall for the barrel, keep it casual. Great positioning right there. And he'll come out and throw the reverse down. Wow! Oh, man, oh, man. Mike Parsons loves it. He answered. He did answer there. I, I, I think we're talking about a clutch performance. That really matters in the eyes of the judges, too. Can you elevate your game when it matters, Peter? Yeah, well, in the type of situation where you can't make any errors, zero errors, and he didn't. He kept the flow up, kept the speed up. Yeah, again, if you're going to look at anything, you know, where was there a super high risk move? Not a lot out on that outside section, but I'll tell you what, it was crisp as can be. The barrel was pretty darn solid, and he gets the finish. Didn't rotate super quick out of it, but I don't know if that really matters. So now 7.6 doesn't have to didn't have to go completely excellent. So uh, we'll see, man. The judges have a lot to chew on right here. Well, and how do you compare it to Gabe's left as well? You got a goofy versus regular. It's an 8.67. It would have to be a point lower than that. And the 907 over the 8.67, and Gabe Medina is out. Unbelievable. It's the first time in the history of him competing in the four CT events at the Surf Ranch that he has not made the final. I cannot overstate how clutch this performance was from Ethan Ewing at this moment. 9.07, 7.6. Medina with an 8 and an 8.67. It was not enough.